Hello everybody, my name is Mrs House and I'm the lead teacher for Geography here at Richmond Sixth Form. We've been running the AQA syllabus for the A-level in Geography for quite some time now and we tend to have a really good success rate. Our students love coming to participate in the course with us and they get quite a lot out of it and a wide range of skills. So the actual course itself is based on two exams, both of which are two and a half hours. The first one is based on physical geography, so we look at hazards, we look at um, the water and carbon cycle, and we look at costs. The cost um, relates directly to the GCSE unit if you've been studying um, the GCSE in geography. The other two will be a little bit new to you. The hazards unit has a lot to do with the hazards at um, GCSE, but it's much wider. So rather than just looking at earthquakes or volcanoes, we look at earthquakes, we look at volcanoes, we look at tropical storms. We also look at the effects of tsunamis and we do lots of case studies with that. So that exam is two and a half hours at the end of the second year. Alongside that then we have a paper two, which is our human topic. For this, we look at the um, global governance, we look at changing places, and we look at the population and the environment unit. So the global governance unit is, as it states really, it's all about how the world is governed and how different countries work together to be able to develop their countries and work internationally. We also look at Antarctica, as a case study, looking at how the effect of a global commons, which isn't owned by anybody, has an impact on how that place is managed and how it's protected. The other big unit then from that one is the changing places unit. So this is brand new to the A level and something you won't have studied at GCSE at all, but that's kind of looking at um, an idea of a, the sense of place that you get when you go and visit places. So we look at two different locations. So we look at Richmond, which is a market town, um, and we compare that to um, Redka, which is very much an old um, steelworks industry and how the two um, people who live there, the residents, have actually developed and changed according to what's influenced them. The third component to the geography um, syllabus then is the actual non-examined assessment part. So this is coursework and it's worth 20% of your overall grade. The thing with this is that you actually get to choose which area you want to do some coursework in. So we can help you with that decision. We take you out on four days worth of individual field work where we go to Gisborough, we go to Redco, we go down to Hornsea. Um, and we go right up into Arkengarthdale where we look at the river system that's up there. And these are all supposed to give you ideas of what the actual, what projects you could do in your coursework. You then choose one individual piece, you do the fieldwork data collection for it, you're going to do some literacy reviews on it, you produce the piece of coursework and like I said that goes to 20% of your overall grade. We usually spend a lot of Year 13 working on this coursework with the idea that we can give you as much support as possible to get you the best grade that you can. So studying geography, why study it? Well, it's one of our um, facilitating subjects. Um, universities like it across the board. It's something that even if you decided not to go in and study geography, it actually will help you get onto the courses that you want to do, which obviously makes it quite popular here at Richmond. But if you are quite passionate about geography, you can go on to a multitude of different fields with it. If you wanted to take the physical aspects, you could look at hazard management. You could go on and you could work for the British Antarctic Survey. Alternatively, if you like the human side to it, we've had people who've moved on to work in the foreign embassies, people who've gone on to law, environmental law, and those kind of aspects. So it's very wide ranging, but gives you an awful lot of skills as well that will help you with your other subjects. So we do cartography skills skills, map skills. We do um, work with statistics, so those of you who perhaps quite like the maths element will enjoy that side. But overall, it's a very exciting, different and wide-ranging subject, and we would love to see you all here in September. Thank you.